Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. I've had whole herds of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Got that lasso. Let's see if we can put One of the most funnest the things to do in this game. That ranch man said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. No, I couldn't get him. Get. Horse, come here. Come here. Come on, let's get after it. Come on. Come here. Here, tug of war. Okay, whatever. <laughs> on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? But I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. I'm going, boy. That's it. Keep a hold of him now. He's a handsome one, all right. Don't worry about you, Mr. Martin. Lean into him. Whoa. Keep at it, Mr. Relax Martin. Relax now. Relax now. Nearly there. Come on. Let's go. go. See it, boy! That's Tell it! Me what Don't you got. give up! Right. 
Let me take you from here. You get back on your own horse. Whew. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Get back there, boy. You ain't finished yet. What are you waiting for? Can I break it? I'm the master of breaking. I'm just breaking the horse in the middle of the road. Mr. McFarland just like rides through me. <laughs> Oh gosh, she just kicked me off the horse. has been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. I mean, you must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Pa hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. Two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hands up ahead. Come on. 
Come on, Arch, before I lasso you up. Come on. Oh. Oh. Get! Let's go! Oh, these horses are much harder to herd. Especially with all these rocky rocks. Whoa. Rocky rocks, yes. Oh, I'm climbing yeah. walls. First man, just imagine face planting that cactus. Stop running in circles. Gotcha. Calm it down. Come on, baby. Today, Mr. Marston, we got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, but he's slow. I have a war horse. I don't need this little trash stallion. 